Ugnayan is Tavern Gutenberg's first international art residency program in the Philippines. From October to November 2017, Maya Dabouville and Henri Lamy, together with visual artists Shafi, Abdul Sek, and Alexandre Beretta, organized seven workshops for street children, eight art events, eight artist meet and greets. DJ, one of the influencers of the culture renaissance in Poblacion. Uh, my name is DJ Paeste. I am an artist, muralist. I am a part of the Ugnayan Sapoblesian project. I was living in the Rockwell area when I first got here, um, but it didn't feel like I was in the Philippines. It was like a little bubble. So we're gonna check out one of my favorite spots right now um, called Tilde Handcraft Cafe. And it's uh, something that's definitely close to my heart and in the neighborhood. <laughs> People are coming from all walks of life because so many of their friends from all different areas, all different styles are opening up spaces here. I mean, you have a place like Tilde, as opposed to somewhere like Pura Vida, which is like a reggae bar. And you know, below that, it's Polilia, which is like a you know, craft beer and um, you know, like kind of like a Lanai style cafe or bar, you know? So it's really great to see the community here growing and really everyone kind of growing their, either their, their restaurant or their culture or you know, their ideas, and they're sharing with everybody. I mean, like, um, there's a really amazing uh, cocktail bar that just opened called Otto, and they do handcrafted cocktails, and it's like a record bar, so like very Japanese-style aesthetic, uh, and you can have like a nice, um, you know, like single malt, like whiskey or a scotch, and just listen to some good music, you know? Very, very chill stuff. So it's not all like party scene. Um, I mean, there's a balance to a lot of things, and there's a lot more creative places go opening up as well. So we have like, you know, my spot, Kapwa Studio, you have Pineapple Lab, you have Dulo, um, you have these little galleries and like these spaces that they're hosting more artists and more musicians. The Humble Heron is uh, a newly opened spot by a friend of mine um, and he's hosting live music every week. Um, so it's, it's, it's good that people are creating these spaces for us to be creative in because it gives us a platform, it gives us a space, it gives us a, a stage and you know, walls to share and to share our craft and creativity. I think mean, that's the most important thing when building a community is gathering people together and really letting them kind of pour out all their energy and sharing with everybody. Oh, this is the one. Except everybody. I mean, I've lived in Japan, I've lived in New York, I've lived in, you know, like California, all over, and I've never really felt like a part of it there. Like, but in the Philippines, when you are around the right people, you feel they welcome you with open arms and they're very supportive, and you're you're a part of it. This is one of the roofs I painted. Another one's at Local Hostel. I mean, it's areas that people, you know, like to use for events and gatherings. So up here, it's uh, you know a little bit of color little bit of uh, life in a hidden spot. 
I like having like little hidden murals and I think art should be, you know, everywhere. <laughs> I try to give as much as I can back to it by, you know, putting up art in neighborhoods where art is needed or, you know, trying to do gatherings and someone might pass by that every day and it makes their day a little bit brighter or it, it, it shares that good energy. So, you know, when you create, create responsibility, that's always like my, my big mantra. <laughs> because art can make things beautiful. Art can make things amazing and fun again. You can take a broken down neighborhood and old buildings and turn them into, you know, like magical places where people, you know, like throw events and, you know, just get creative again. Atmosphere always affects my art. I feel like it's so easy for me to create here. I'm an hour from some of like the most beautiful beaches and surrounded by water. And there's a reason why Philippines is a gathering place. Ugnayan continues. Click for next episode.